I'm going to demystify closing costs and prepaid fees for you in under 60 seconds. So in this low inventory environment, when rates are a little bit elevated, lenders and banks have been known to manipulate their closing costs and fee estimates to make it look like their fees and costs are much more affordable than another company's. But this is all you need to know to do that evaluation entirely on your own. There are three components to closing costs and fees. First component, lender fees. That's gonna include any lender uh, origination charges, processing underwriting fees, and points. That is the only subcategory that should vary dramatically, if at all, between lenders. Second category is going to be fees that are paid to third parties. People like the attorney that you've selected or the escrow company that you've selected to represent you in this transaction. Those fees are going to be the same no matter who you work with because the third party that you're working with is going to charge you the same regardless of the lender or the bank that you're using for financing. And the third category is what we call uh, prepaids. I like to call them ongoing costs of owning the home. Things like your first year of homeowner's insurance coverage, any sort of prepaid deposits for tax and insurance escrows. Again, any fees in this category should be exactly the same regardless of the lender that you're working with. Your homeowner's insurance expense is not going to increase because you choose a bank versus a lender or a lender versus a mortgage broker. Those should be the same no matter what. If you just follow that rule of thumb for evaluating the estimates that you're receiving from companies, you should be all set.